Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the inverse of a rational function. So, if you don't already know how to find the inverse of a function, I highly suggest you watch this video first, as this video you're watching right now builds on that knowledge and focuses on how to find the inverse of a rational function. So, if you don't already know how to find the inverse of a function, watch that video, then come back to this one. So, let's get into this. First of all, a rational function is a function that is a fraction where both the numerator and the denominator are polynomials. So, we can break this down into four steps. Step one, let's rewrite this with y instead of f of x. So, just replace f of x with y and that gives us y equals x plus 3 over 2. Next up, swap y and x. So, if we swap them, it becomes x equals y plus 3 over 2. Next up, we want to solve for y. So, get y all by itself on one side. First, let's get rid of this 2 over here by multiplying both sides by 2. That gives us 2x equals y plus 3. To get y by itself, subtract both sides by 3, so we can have y equals 2x, sorry, y equals 2x minus 3. And last but not least, step 4, rewrite this in inverse notation. To write inverse notation, we just write f of x as f with a minus 1 of x, and that reads f inverse of x equals 2x minus 3. And that is the inverse of our rational function. So, to finish, finding the inverse of a rational function is just a little harder since we are working with a rational function, but if you follow the steps, you will get to the right answer like we did in this video. With saying that, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like, feel free to drop a comment, and please consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.